Good morning, guys. I have this cell phone case that it's a little beat up, a little bit dirty, but I've had it for a while and I actually love the case. It just started to look a little beat up, so I ordered a new one in a different color and I hate the new one. It just feels crappy. And I thought, you know what, why don't I just decoupage this one anyway? I decoupaged a yearly planner about 10 years ago and it's held up beautifully in and out of the purse so i'm going to do that with this one now i'm using a an acrylic paint just because i want to make sure that it's flexible like the phone and i'm only going to paint and decoupage the outside take this piece off so we want to take this from looking like this to looking like this I just wanted to mention something while I'm painting this. I got an email from someone the other day who I asked her if it was okay to talk about this and she said of course. She mentioned that we used to have long chats uh, where we would go back and forth on email and then I kind of stopped responding as much or I didn't go into as much detail. And she said she was worried that she offended me. And I then heard from someone else, because I told another friend about that, that I felt bad about it. And she said, you know, I thought the same thing. So I just wanted to say that I apologize if anyone felt that way. Um, it's always with me a case of just being so, so busy, especially on the computer with uh, all of the YouTube questions and comments, and then I'm doing a bunch of other artwork besides the decoupage, the editing videos. It's just a bunch of busyness stuff, but no one has ever, especially someone that I've been in communication with, no one has ever offended me or made me feel badly. Uh, I think I saw maybe in the last year, two or three political posts where someone wrote to me and made some comments that, that I wasn't crazy about, but um, I would, I'm just not the type to be like, I'm never speaking to her again or to him again. <laughs> First of all, I can't ever remember why I held a grudge. So if I held a grudge against somebody, but a month later, I'd be like, why was I mad at them again? What did, I, what did they say? What did they do? It's just too much trouble. <laughs> and besides... So what? Everybody says things and does things that, you know, sometimes you don't even know what they mean, but that's okay. You know when somebody's outright insulting you. Uh, most of the time, nobody means to do that. So I apologize if anyone felt slighted, anyone else felt slighted, or thought that they might have offended me. I do avoid political stuff at all times. I avoid it at parties. I avoid it especially here because because we're just doing decoupage. We want to have a nice time. So <laughs> no, no political recourse, but it's still uh, just me being busy, you guys. No one offended me. Um, I am sorry if I made you feel that way. That's all that happened there. Now I'm going to put this aside to dry, stop talking, and uh, I will come back and decoupage this. Okay, now that this is dry, and I painted the inside too, not this piece, but this side over here. I'm going to select my, well I already selected the napkin so that it matched the paint. And I'm going to tear it into sections and decoupage. Oh, make sure if you have writing on it, by the way, that you have your phone right side up the way that you're going to use it if you're talking on it. I only say that because I've made that mistake in the past. Puts uh, decoupage something on upside down. So I'm going to separate the napkin. First I'm going to cut the napkin a little bit larger than the size I need it. I'll tear it. Now I'm going to separate the napkin. And now I'm going to decoupage this on here. You're going to need something small enough to push the paper through this spot right here. 
because you're going to need that. And because this is a smaller section of a napkin, I'm going to take my decoupage glue and my paintbrush and I'm just going to apply the decoupage glue over the surface like this. And I want to start in the center and work my way out. Now the reason I'm starting in the center is because on a smaller piece like this you can actually push the wrinkles out and just expand your circle Whoops. so just work in a little section at a time And when you work in the center out like this, in this starburst pattern, rather than just glop a bunch of decoupage glue all over, I've found that this is the easiest way to control the wrinkles without tearing the napkin. I'm going to file this off once it dries but I do want it to wrap around a tiny bit I do the same thing on this side I have a little bit of decoupage glue there, so just tap that down to line it up. I notice I'm a little short up here. I'm not worried about that. I'll be able to fix that. But again, from the center out. Now I have a warming drawer on my oven that is, you can either set it to high or low. I have no idea what the temperature is in there. I put this on a piece of aluminum foil or parchment paper in that warming drawer on high. I can say I'm sure it doesn't get over 170, but to be on the safe side, if you wanted to put this in your oven, and the only reason I'm doing this is because we're in the middle of the heat wave. The air is cranking in here and it's still about 77 degrees, which is comfortable, but it's just taking a long time for things to dry. And I'd like this in the most uh, arid of places. So I'm going to put it in that warming drawer. And this little spot up here, let me see if I can add a little egg on there. And these openings in the cell phone, we're going to need to remove the paper anyway. So if your napkin went through while you were working, that's not a bad thing. We're going to do that anyway. All right, so it's time By the way, I am going to decoupage the wristband. I almost forgot. And that looks like it could be a problem, but you just do the exact same thing. Put decoupage, this is napkin decoupage glue, by the way. I'll have links below my video. Now I'm going to follow those same steps. The only thing that I will do a little differently this time is I am going to wait for this side to dry before I work on the other side. And if this is too challenging or you don't want to do this on here, 
just leave it the paint color that it is because you've probably got something there that matched anyway. Just getting back to this wristband, I'm going to file away these edges before I go on to the other side. If I don't do this, it's all going to get messed up as I'm working on that other piece. So I'll just go around with a strong nail file and remove all of this excess and then I'm just going to add the same exact thing on the back side. By the way, I'll have a link below. Hopefully I can find this on Amazon for you guys. This is a napkin decoupage glue. I, I'm not getting paid to say this. This is my absolute all-time favorite decoupage glue for a couple of reasons and this reminded me of it when I was working on this. As I was trying to file these edges off, this glue dries so hard and thoroughly. Not hard where it will crack, you can see that it's flexible, but it is so sturdy that as I tried to file this off, I was having a tough time and I had to keep getting stronger and stronger sandpaper, stronger grit, and now I decided, you know what, I'm just going to wrap this around because you're not really going to see too much of this inside anyway. <laughs> but that's how strong this decoupage glue is. It's called Viva Decor and it comes out of Germany. And this is the one that's very gelatinous and it works so well. But I also used it on birdhouses outside. I think I've told you this before too. I put the birdhouse outside to dry forgot to bring it in and it got knocked over and a, I don't know how many months later I found it on the ground perfectly intact. This thing had been rained on, the wind had blown it over, it, there was sun beating down on it and this glue protected it all. I'm still going to put a top coat over it but it's nice to know that a glue is that strong or works that well. So it's a product out of Germany. I'm sorry, I am partial to almost all things made in Germany. They know how to make a car. They know how to make kitchen appliances. <laughs> and apparently they know how to make a great decoupage glue. So I'll just finish this little spot here. But um, I also am going to, this is a little tricky this part. I'm going to fold this over which will still be easier than filing away that excess. Okay, so this is dry and you can see that by doing that method where you apply the decoupage glue kind of in the shape of a star is that making sense? You start in the center and you just brush out. You just keep brushing out. You can see that we don't have any wrinkles on here. So now I'm going to add my top coat. One thing I want to do though is I do want to get these edges taken care of and open any, see this section right here? This decoupage glue is so strong. <laughs> I want to make sure I have an opening here. Make this opening here. I want to file these edges off. Look, this is a seriously strong grit nail file and it's taking a moment to get this off. So I'll just go around these ends and take this excess away. For this centerpiece, I just kept moving the file around like this and it took the excess out. For this piece up here, I don't normally recommend that you go back and forth with the filing. Like I say, to go in one direction. But I cannot find my small metallic file, which would have fit in there perfectly. The edges are all sanded away. And now I'm going to put the triple thick on. Make sure there's no dust on this. After you sand it, the dust can get all over your piece. So just make sure there's no dust anywhere. 
Now you guys know I love my glitter, so I am going to add the top coat of triple thick over this, and I'm going to add a little glitter. It'll just be a smattering, not too crazy with the glitter. Well, at least that's not my intention. Let's see what happens. <laughs> By the way, when you use triple thick, you have to, have to use a bristle brush. You cannot use a sponge brush. It won't work with that. You also want to make sure you don't keep going over and over and over it. It's a very thick, gooey top coat. So once you apply it, just work it into the areas. Again, I'm going with that star pattern. And I want to make sure I get these edges. And here's something else that I learned the hard way. You cannot put triple thick in the oven. Don't put it in the sun, don't put it in the oven. Just put it in a room temperature room and allow it to dry on its own. It will dry pretty quickly. You can see the very, very high gloss on this. And now I'm going to add that touch of glitter. And I'm going to put this aside to air dry. And I'll come right back. It normally takes, I'd say a good half an hour for this to be dry. So I'm going to put this aside and I'll come back and I think I'm going to add one more thing to it and then we'll be all done. One other little trick that I'm doing with the triple thick. I have this beautiful micro glitter that I want to outline the piece with. You can barely see it, but I'm pouring a little bit of triple thick out, and then I'm just going to push the piece, just the corner or the edge through the glitter. So you can see there's just a tiny bit of glitter around the edges. Okay, before I show you the finished project, I just want to show you one other thing. There is triple thick right here, and I'm letting you know it is really hard to get it off of this surface, which makes it perfect for our cell phone. That and here is our beautiful little iPhone case. I'm going to let this dry for another day. There's a difference between drying and curing. Dry is where you feel it and it doesn't feel tacky to the touch, but curing is when it has dried completely through because this is a little bit thicker of a surface, this uh, triple thick. So for the most part, this is all done. This is so flexible, it's just going to hold up and last forever. I actually don't like all of that glitter on the magnet. Anyway, that's our project for the week, my friends. And I will put some links below to the uh, triple thick, this napkin decoupage glue. You may already have a cell phone cover that you'd like to work on. You really don't have to paint it first. If you just want to get a white one or an off-white one and decoupage over top of that one following all the same instructions, just omit the paint part. You can do that. And I will put the links down below for all of the products. And don't forget, you can still do the rest of your shopping while you're over there on Amazon through any of my links. You don't just have to get what I am putting up on the screen for you. So that is our video for the week. I'm so excited because I was about to go and buy another one of these, but I did not want to spend the money after I just bought this other one. That's our project for the week, my friends. I will see you next week with another video. Don't forget, Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And I will be seeing you next week with another video. Thanks again, my friends. Bye-bye.